Hey everybody, Akirish here. Welcome back. Alright, so this will be episode 15, series 1, The Interloper. And, um, yeah, wow, the outpouring of support for and condolences for for Snickers was uh, pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Um, you guys really, it really helped out a lot more than I expected. So, thank you for that. You guys really did help buoy my, uh, my spirits and, uh, yeah, feeling better about things. So, anyway, uh, let's get into this right away. Uh, I'm in a bad way here. Um, I'm at like 34% condition. Um, I screwed up when I was fishing. I let the fire go out, and I got really cold and contracted hypothermia. And I have 17 hours left in hypo. I have to stay above freezing for 17 consecutive more hours. Uh, if I drop below, if I drop to a freezing state again, it resets the clock back to 24 hours. And the problem with hypothermia is, even though I might be resting and things like that, I'm not actually healing myself. So I have to be careful about letting my condition drop too low because I can't actually heal myself too well uh, between now and then. So luckily, we have some fish. We got a few. Uh, we got probably about a couple thousand calories to work with. Uh, 34, 34 gallons of water, or thereabouts, about a third of a gallon. So anyway, let's get into the comments here. Jerry, 486DX4. So sorry about Snickers. I had to say goodbye to Midas when I was 15. It was tough. You can grab a car battery with a right click and walk into a transition zone. This will place it into your inventory. No idea what you can do with it. Probably nothing as of yet. Just an interesting fact. Uh, also, you can uh, exit houses while crouching. This, will, uh, this won't get you noticed. Uh, slash jumped by the wolves, I'm, I'm guessing. So I won't get pinged immediately as I walk out of the house. That's a pretty good tip. If you try and add an unread book to the fire, a pop-up will show up uh, asking you to confirm this action. On Voyager, I did encounter a mug of coffee in a microwave. So there's still hope. While the wolf is howling, you can do whatever you want. I've tried various actions, including shooting it with an arrow. It would not stop its action midway. When you perform an action, let's say harvesting meat, AI will not speed up, so the wolf will not suddenly appear next to you. I think I remember that from prior um, prior updates back back in the day, prior versions of the game where you could actually keep your head up. Now it seems like whenever you do an action, your head drops down now. Uh, I think I used to be able to keep my head up, and I, I would watch them, and they would just freeze for the entire time, and they would just, it, as soon as like a half hour went by, the wolf would still be in the same spot and uh, would continue moving along whatever path it was on. Uh, let's see here. Um, next to you, it did jump. Uh, it did jump you as meat was added to your inventory, hence increasing the wolf smell smellometer <laughs> at forty four forty three and forty four fifty three. Missed some of the old man's beard trees at the back. Hey, I'm not too worried about picking up old man's beard. I have like eleven or twelve of them back at the cabin. Heart with comments. You can. Oh wait, you probably have researched this by now. But just in case, you can favorite comments. Favorite ones will appear at the top since fishing is a speculative activity. You just select how long, uh, and then it's all down to mass. I tend to leave fishing till I have uh, read the books, and I'm at least the level two, three ideally. That fishing uh, cooking session at the end, what happened? Lost focus. That's exactly what happened. Uh, that was ultra risky, ultra risky caps. Uh, you will lose 20% condition while freezing, but with hypo, this can double depending on various factors. You're in a bit of a bind now. Smash stuff for materials past time, two hours, and one hour sleep combo perhaps. Hypo needs to be dealt with, uh, or it's interloper times four for you. So yeah, no doubt. All right, and then uh, 4K, 8T. You can craft fishing tackle if you have the hooks and lines without being at the workbench, much like you can craft old man's beard without with wound... Or, Old man's beard wound dressings, turner plugs and torches if you have the components. I think the radial menu crafting works even in the dark. You still need to make the line and hooks at the workbench. If you try to fish again, you might take time to break up uh, a pile of pallets. That'll give you, get you, uh, that gets you reclaimed wood in sizable quantities. There are sticks along the shore from the fishing hut. Uh, it's up to you. It is up to each to decide. But I think the risk that you get from get food poisoning from that low condition dog food is outweighed by the calories it provides and the fact that uh, you are going to try to sleep for 10 hours anyway. You had a reshi tea or antibiotic to treat food poisoning. With uh, available food at such a premium, can you afford to throw away 500 calories on the rather slight chance that it'll give you food poisoning? At least you get the coho salmon, at least you got the coho salmon, a bunch of calories, good fishing. And just a heads up, 
Occasionally there is an airplane, a, C, a C-5 Galaxy flying overhead, uh, practicing approaches at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. So if you hear an airplane fl- flying overhead, it's not my rescue that I'm missing out on in the game. It's an actual airplane that seems to want to fly around at night. I don't know. It's the military. You can't stop them, right? So let's get into the game. All right. Sorry. Five minutes in. So here's our situation. I'm warm. I'm getting a little, little hungry. Um, it feels like 44 degrees. Conditions at 34%. We'll go over here. Check out the uh, ailments here. 34% condition again. Hypothermia is what we have. Remain freezing for 17 hours. So someone said in the comments, hey, double check and make sure. Griffin Wing, I believe it was. Said, hey, double check and make sure that you didn't, uh, when you stepped out of the blizzard, it didn't reset your... Uh, your timer back to 24 hours so it didn't and then here's our water amount down there and our various first aid items so uh, and then I'll bring up the inventory here here's our food which is pretty decent and uh, a little low on water but we should be alright and then uh, this is I'm just gonna go through all the items here we got a bunch of fishing tackle which is good um, yeah pretty pretty decent overall we're at 61 pounds so that's nice and then these little drinks will also give us some thirst back so I don't really want to go out and try to boil water right now because there's a freaking blizzard outside. And uh, Oh, and if someone else said in the comments, if you get to a level 5 uh, cooking skill, you have a zero chance of catching parasites, in- intestinal parasites from uh, uh, wolf meat and bear meat. So that's all the more reason to get that wilderness cooking up to snuff. So I think what we'll do here is we don't know how many hours of daylight are left. Um, I'm just going to start breaking stuff up here and seeing how it goes. So, let's do it. And that way we get some wood for the fire. Because then once we get down here, we can go out to the fishing hut, get a fire going, and um, have plenty of wood for it. So this is going to take an hour and 57 minutes. Let's make sure everything's okay. I don't want to get into a bad way where I'm losing even more condition. I can't afford that. So. Okay. Wow, that drained me quick. I Did, I, did you see how fast it drained? Oh, it's because I have hypothermia, isn't it? I think it drains super fast when I have hypothermia. Alright, so we're down to the point where we can sleep for 10 hours easy. Um, can I just break up the chair? I don't want to do anything too crazy. 33. Okay, there we go. So we got some more wood. Let's see how we're doing on wood. Uh, that's not the right one. There it is. Okay, uh, where's it at? Wait, wait, no, it's under fire. That's right. Four of those, two coals. Alright, a stick. And we should be able to collect some more sticks, but what we actually need to do now is just rest. And we do have enough drink and all that stuff so let's get a drink and top off our calories get 750 calories see if we can sleep for 10 hours and uh, hopefully we can kick this hypothermia and get rid of it so we're going to eat all this there we go we'll eat part of this okay 700 how many calories are we at now 748 just about perfect all right so let's sleep for 10 we got good amount of water. We're good. All right, let's go. All right, 750 calories. More bonus. Let's do it. It always makes me nervous to sleep. First time I died in the long dark was because I died of thirst. And we're basically going to be fishing at night here, unfortunately. 61% condition. So our condition did go up. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I thought with hypothermia, it wouldn't go. You wouldn't be able to start increasing your condition until you kick that ailment. So that's awesome. I'm so glad to see that. So we're, there it is. <laughs> I told you guys. I put big note in my notepad off to the side on things I wanted to cover at the start. I put airplane flying overhead, C4 or C5 practicing approaches at WPAFB. So, all right, let's take a peek outside, see what it's like out here. 61% condition. I'm feeling better. Feeling better about life. We can break up some more wood if we have to. What's the temp out here? 19 degrees. Yeah, maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go fishing. Maybe we'll go fishing for a little bit here. What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe we'll do that. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Of course, I don't know. It'd be nice to get that coho salmon, but it'd be also nice to make sure that we have enough wood and everything. Maybe I should just break up some pallets. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta make a decision. Make a decision, accurate. Make a decision. All right, let's let's go fishing. We got plenty of wood. We should anyway. And coal. I want to try to grab some more sticks here. There should be some more right up in here. 
Another suggestion was repair, repair clothes, that sort of thing. Alright, let's just pick up sticks. Uh, give me three sticks. Ooh, three sticks. Alright, the fog's starting to come in. Temperature going up or down? Sometimes that fog actually keeps the temperature at a pretty, pretty decent level. So what I think I'll do here is I'll fish, try to get a couple more fish. Um, use maybe a coal. I don't know. Depends on the heat that this thing puts out. So let's get this thing going here. Uh, let's not use reclaimed wood. It's tough to start. And let's get this fire going here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get this fire going and I don't freeze to death. I don't think so at 19 degrees. I shouldn't. really need that bedroll though. Oh, I should probably check um, to see what my chance of cabin fever is now. Oh, oh that didn't work. Kidding me. Wait, wait, let me double check. Okay, I'm doing okay on the heat. I'm not worried about that. Okay, good. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I'm really glad that my conditions went up so much. That was huge. Come on. I think that I think that it used to be where if you had hypothermia or some sort of illness, food poisoning, it, you you wouldn't be able to increase your condition until you actually kicked it and got rid of it. Um, that that particular ailment. Am I wrong in that or oh, that didn't work? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna run out of freaking. I'm out of tinder. I'm out of freaking tinder. Of all things. Oh, for Pete's sake. You have to have me break down a freaking. Hold on, I gotta break down one of these into a tinder. I gotta watch my cold here. All right, let's try this again. Ridiculous. Have tempted to use an accelerant, but we're not in a in a blizzard, hiding in a hollow tree or anything crazy like that. So I'm not gonna use my accelerant for for this. Not when I can just simply go across. Uh, the little bit of frozen lake there and get back into a nice warm toasty cabin. Not going to use my accelerant for that. This is looking a bit more promising. If, I, if this goes out now, I should just hang up and say that's Turned out pretty well. Yeah, finally. Gosh, don't go patting yourself. Don't break your arm patting yourself on the back there. Uh, reclaim wood. Let's do some of that on there. See how that does. Let's see what our output's gonna be. All right, fire starting. Level two, novice. Could have used that a few minutes ago. Ooh, ooh, it's pretty, pretty nasty out there. So we got it at 33 degrees. That's pretty good. All right, so as long as, as long as, what's it gonna max out at 18 degrees? As long as the temperature doesn't get too cold, we'll be all right. Um, I think I might just throw on a cold just for good measure. Probably gonna have to wait a minute. So let me try here. Yeah, I won't have to wait 19 minutes. So let's go ahead and cook up some water because I do need some water. Dang old C5's coming back again. Alright, let's go ahead and melt that up here. Getting drained here again. Gonna need some more sleep. Jeez. It's because I'm sick, that's the problem. Watch my condition here. Alright, there we go. And make sure I'm not yeah. getting cold. Feels like 34 degrees. I think I am going to throw on a coal. And then I'll fish for a couple hours. That'll really boost the temperature quite a bit, as you can see. There it goes. All right, let's bust up this hole. Oh, it's only 90% frozen from the last time I used it. All right, let's bust up this ice with the pry bar. Getting nice and warmed up. Condition's dropping a little bit, but that's okay. It's just because I'm super tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> so that's okay. All right, so... I think what I might do is just eat a little bit, so I'm not taking a double condition hit. Um, yeah, let's just eat one of these. Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's just do one hour. Double check my fire. Oh yeah, an hour and 28 minutes. Okay, good. Let's do this for an hour. We'll bring up a big, big fish. Come on. Nothing. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's do it again here. 43 minutes. Nope, we're going to need a little bit more. Maybe another reclaimed wood. There we go. Let's 
do one more hour, and we'll call it quits. Come on. Oh. soon. We gotta try again. We can't have committed this much and not get walk away with anything. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to add another coal. Oh boy. Hypothermia is passed. All right, good. Well, that's a positive. All right. Let's try one more time here. Come on, big bucks. All right, coho salmon, baby. That's a big one. Come on, give me another one. Yeah, rainbow trout, baby. One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Hey, that's a good problem to have right there. All right, let's try to make it. Wait, how much time have we got left here on this fire? 55 minutes. We might as well make water, right? Might as well. Let's melt up some snow. I know my condition is dropping because of my exhausted, the level of exhaustion. But uh, I want a drink here in a second. All right, there we go. Let's get a drink. So we don't have to worry about that. Make sure we drink the clean one, not the green one. Drink the clean one, not the green one. All right. Um, should probably cook up these salmons too. All right, so. Yeah, let's boil this. I don't think I have enough wood. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, let's do the water first. Water's more important. We we can cook the salmon anywhere, um, and we have we do have plenty of salmon. So let's boil up this water, and we'll probably cook up one or two salmon. I don't know how many we'll be able to get, but it'll be a couple. All right, so let's cook up the coho first. Maybe we'll get all three. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I think we will. I think we will if we're quick about it. If we're quick about it. So it feels like it's 100 degrees in here. I'm going to step out of there and catch... Uh, I'm, I'm probably sweating right now. I'll probably step out of here and catch hypothermia because I got sweat. I got sweaty clothes on right now. All right, we got all three cooked. Pretty good. Pretty good timing there. All right. I harvested some lamp, some lamp oil, too. That's much cruising weight out here. Oh, 69 pounds. That's not too hateful. I'm just super exhausted. So I can't run or anything. Basically, I got myself a flare. That's about my only defense. This is a nice little area, actually. Not too bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and... Yeah, we're going to rest for 10. Even though there's only 4 hours of darkness left. Alright, guys. I might cut this episode short just to screw with you all. Just so you all think that I died when you see it's a 28 minute episode or something like that. I don't know. No, I won't do that to you guys. I won't do that to you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and eat. And let's see. Eat and sleep and get our uh, condition on. Oh, I did want to check uh, hypotherm or the uh, odds for. Uh, what, where's it at? For cabin fever? Where's that at? I guess it would be here if I had anything, right? I should be able to select it there. Okay, apparently I don't have any risk for hypo or uh, cabin fever at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and eat 750 calories. Okay, I think I got 780 something. Let's drink, eat, drink, and be merry. But don't call me Shirley. All right, um, how are we doing on weight? Not too bad, we're underweight now. And look at all that food. I think we're ready to travel to Mystery Lake once we uh, get some more rest here. So let's do that. Let's get some rest. And hopefully we're at about 100% condition when we wake up. Oh, man. I don't think we'll be up to 100, but maybe even in the 80s, hopefully. Let's see. 79. Oh, close. Very close. Let's get our drink before we forget. I'll reduce our weight a little bit. And let's go. Time to time to move. We are carrying that uh, fish around with us, so I think we're gonna smell good to the wolves, unfortunately. Right about now. But uh, hey, it's part of the part of the game here, right? All right, let's get going. I'm ready to get moving. Time to head over to Mystery Lake. Oh, kind of want to take that, so. I guess I can use that to get down to the, the ravine and get a flare gun or something. Let's take it. It'll put us overweight. We'll be getting a little more tired a little faster. But 
I think we should take it. Now I'm gonna try to. Something's think, gotta go. I think the last time I came this. Oh no, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go. Wait a minute. Let me think. Yeah, let's go this way. I think I can go this way and get my way. Get up that way. Okay, I think that's the bear call. Yeah, it is. It is. There's the bear. I heard. I heard him. I heard the. I heard the uh, crows. Very. It was quite distinct once you start really listening for it. All right, starting to get chilled again here. That's okay. Now I'm a little worried about running into wolf here. I think I had to uh, escape and evade last time I tried to go this route. Because there is a patrol wolf. I might have to take to the hills again. Try to... Let's just be careful. I really don't want to get attacked by a wolf, but... If we do, you know... We've got options. I do have a decoy, at least. A couple decoys. I don't, really don't want to sacrifice calories. Okay, this is where I had to run from it before. Now that bear looked like he was heading out towards the water, so. Okay, there's a deer down there. He doesn't look too freaked out. Probably a good sign. Alright, I'm gonna continue up this way. Now if I need to go warm up for an hour, there should be the cabin up here that I can get to at the top of the creek. I am gonna pick up some sticks along the way. Right, let's take a peek up here. Get a little high ground, get a little perspective. Oh. Okay, he's pinged me. I'm gonna try to take a... Uh oh. This isn't good. That's not good at all. I don't think he can get to me, though. Did I confuse him? Let's run. Let's run. Is he still on my six? Okay. Alright. I don't know. He made me a bit nervous there. Okay, I'm going to slow it down. Slow it down. If I hear him barking again, we'll figure something out. Yeah, I think he pinged me real quick because of the, uh, just checking my cold. I really don't want to catch hypothermia again. i get this out just in case. I only have one, I think, so I really don't want to use it unless I have to. Okay, I think I just go through here. There's something walking around. Is that a deer trying to run? It sounds like a deer. But I'm not going to take any risks. I'm going up to Rabbit Cove cabin here. <laughs> I don't know what the heck you call it. Is it a deer? I think it was a deer. Alright, let's just get inside the cabin. Oh, it is Rabbit Grove. Oh my gosh, I had no idea what it was called. Or maybe I did, and it was like subliminal, because I was just making up a name because there's rabbits hopping around up here. <laughs> I know I've been here before. It must have been subliminal. Because I, I assure you, my memory is not that good. Now, if it was Grifter, he, he'd have these all memorized. He'd be like, that bed, that's a table, that's freaking metal. That's an empty container. He'd have all this stuff just memorized to be able to tell you exactly verbatim. He's smart like that. All right. Let's put this away. Um... So we got six hours of daylight left. A little bit winded, a little bit starving. Let's uh, let's go ahead and eat a little bit, just so we <laughs> let's eat a little more than thirty-six calories, shall we? Oh wow. Okay, let's rest for an hour or so. We'll kind of keep moving while the weather's somewhat decent, but I do need to warm up. So let's sleep here. Alright. If we do get snowed in, we're going to be alright. 
79% condition. And we're back down to 95 calories. So let's head on out. Let's try to make it over to Ravine. I do want to drop the rope if I can off the uh, train tracks there. I hear something bouncing around down there still. What is that? That can't be the rabbits, right? Maybe it is the rabbits. Maybe they're just like really loud rabbits. Alright. Okay, I think I pretty much kicked picked most of the cattails clean. I, I'm sure maybe I missed one or two here or there, but I'm not going to dive down in there because I'm a little worried about getting blindsided by a wolf. At least here I only have to worry about being attacked from one direction. Sort of like the Ch Chuck Liddell way to uh, handle yourself in a bar fight. Basically back yourself into a corner and then just stay there and punch your way through it until until it's over okay so I need to get up there somehow the question is how do I get up there what if I can just go this way hopefully I can something to eat 23 degrees really not bad for traveling honestly wait am I gonna pop up right up here on these tracks oh I am Ooh, that's the way to go right there, man. All right, good stuff. Okay, um, have I gone? I don't think I've gone this way yet. Through to this, um. Oh, jeez, my memory's horrible. Um, yeah, I don't think I've gone this way to this trailer here. So maybe we should check this trailer out. I don't want to put this away. Try to keep things a little more enjoyable for for you all, for y'alls. I, I checked that guy. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. Still pretty good. We're gonna make the best of this. Maybe we can make it to Hydro, uh, the Hydro Dam, before the end of this. I'm not too winded. I have. I should be able to run if I need to. Not running super heavy. A little bit heavy. 75. I don't want to be too tired to make it through Ravine. Now I'm not gonna climb down the rope and try to climb back up because. I don't have any way to really rest without a bed. So, I'm going to wait at Ravine until I can actually take a sleep at the bottom of the Ravine if I need to. Because if I get down there and I can't climb back up that rope, I'm done. I'm stuck at the bottom. And if I need to rest when I get down there, I don't know how far it is. Um, then I, I don't have a bedroll or anything. I'll just I'll die of freaking fatigue and exposure. So, I think this is new because it gave me the music. So um, maybe does it does it only give you the music the first time you visit it in a in a life or I don't know let's see oh these are not searched yet so no I haven't been here yet I think I remember de debating coming up here and I was like yeah I'm not gonna risk it so anyway here we are and I don't know if it's gonna yield anything okay so far nothing much oh sneaky MRE where are you at and nowhere to be found. All right, so this was kind of a but. Wait, 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 wait. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. We got some beef jerky, guys. Food or? That's right. 350 calories. Boom. There you go. Anything else? What am I missing? What am I missing? Gotta be missing something. I got the beef jerky. All right. There's, now sometimes there's a metal container over here to the right, and sometimes there's a dead body or something. I can't remember how long the tracks. Either carcass or dead body. I can't remember. All right. Temperature 22, so the temperature's starting to drop a little bit, so we're going to need to move a little bit more purpose here. All right, is there a container back here? Where are you at, container? Sometimes there's a container around here somewhere. Maybe I'm just missing it. All right, well, maybe there isn't one this time. You got a circle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a dead body. Let's grab a couple of these feathers. What you got for us? What's in his hand? Oh, boot print. <laughs> I was like, what's in his hand there? Nothing. Nothing. Well, we got some beef jerky. 
So how are we doing here? Yeah, I think we're alright. We should be able to keep moving. Part of me thinks re you know what? Part of me thinks rest up here for a little bit and then travel on. Keep moving. Ravine's safe though. You're not gonna find any at least it always has been. Um no wolves. No bears. Just deer, deer carcasses. But nowhere to rest. So that is a problem there. Okay, 21 degrees. Starting to drop a little bit. I'm going to warm up and just sort of top off a little bit. And, uh, yeah, just take a quick nap here. Get my energy back up. I just don't want to push it. I'm just being a little extra cautious since I was horribly reckless at the end of the last episode. It's kind of got me, got me on lock a little bit here. All right, well, that was quick. Wait, why am I eating that many calories? That was stupid. Okay, whatever. I mean, I was thinking I was going to... Okay, so much for being careful. I was thinking I was going to be uh, resting for... Well, I guess I could rest for a few hours. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's rest for a few. What do you guys think? Four? Yeah, it'll be dark. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about anything. At night. Just a cold. And if we have to, we'll bust up furniture. Yeah, blizzard. We're going to get snowed in a little bit, I think. We'll check outside and see what's up. Maybe it's just fog. If it's fog, I'm not too worried about it. Because it's pretty much a straight shot. There's no way I'm going to get lost. Yeah, it's fog. Alright, so 11 degrees. Let's go ahead and move. percent condition even if I killed time back there at the uh, at that trailer right there I'd still uh, at 12 degrees I'd still be uh, pretty well rested too I, I, I still run into the chance of running into a really long blizzard the next day so kind of wanting to move while I can and uh, even if I stay there the whole night and rest up I'm going to be 100% and uh, I'll sort of be maxed out with my health so sleeping really won't be accomplishing anything just be sort of spinning my wheels so I kind of want to move as long as I feel comfortable and I do feel of all the places now normally if I was down on the uh, in the middle of coastal I wouldn't be moving in this weather because of the wolf wolf threat but because uh this is pretty much just follow the train tracks until you reach the Hydra Dam, honestly. Um, yeah, you really can't screw it up. And then if you do come out the Hydra Dam and there is a wolf there, you just run straight into the Hydra Dam. And apparently an interloper, Fluffy doesn't spawn inside the Hydra Dam, so should be somewhat safe there. Should be quite a bit warmer in here, you think? All right, let's leave. Now, I'm not going to try gutting anything. i got plenty of fish. Um... I'm not trying to uh, camp out here and gut animals or anything like that. So let's just keep moving here. And I'm not sure where we, we need anything. can place our rope. I might just place it here some, I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll give me one of those very distinct looking rocks. But uh, maybe not. It's hard to say. All right, so let's just be extra careful here. Walking across. Yeah, it's going to creak and crumble and all that stuff. Make all that horrible noise. Alright, over we go. Don't rest my fingers on the, the A and the D key. I might just leave my uh, rope here on the edge just to cut weight. And uh, I know I'm supposed to use it here somewhere, but I'll do it during the daytime, you know what I mean? So, let's keep going here. All right, it's starting to get a little cold. Maybe it's over here that I'm supposed to use the rope. Either way, I'm going to put my rope right here, where it's freaking obvious as can be. I'll drop it. It's no big deal. We just wanted to get it to this section of the map. Where's my rope at? Where's that? Oh, for Pete's sake. There it is. Okay. So, obvious as can be. I can't, can't miss it when I make the return voyage. 
It might be over here. It might be over here where I'm supposed to use it, but that's okay. Do kind of bounce over here a little bit, but Don't like seeing that. Wait, two percent. Right. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. I might need to start a fire just to warm myself up. If I get up to twenty percent, I might. I'll probably do that. I haven't really seen any twigs to pick up either. I always tend to miss my little turn here, but that's okay. I'll get it all figured out. I feel like they changed just a little bit here. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, this is, I'm supposed to go back and then go down that way, I do believe. So hungry. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yep. Okay. And let me up here. There we go. Cross over this. And now we're in. There should be a couple plants I can actually pick here. And dead, dead guy. Maybe he's got like a heat pack on him. Some electric thermal underwear or something. How are we doing on hypothermia? 20%. Okay, let's get a fire going here. It's 8 degrees. I'm going to try to find a nice pocket here. What's the temp here? 9 degrees. Better than. What I was at. All right. So, how much? I got five sticks. Well, better than nothing. At least take the edge off, right? Come on, come on. Hey, I got level two fire starting, so should be should be golden. What I'll probably do is I'll probably heat up some of this tea as well and drink it so I get a little warmth bonus. Come on, baby. Big bucks, no whammies. That's what I'm talking about. Never any doubt. It worked. There we go. Alright, so let's heat up some, I don't know, Reshi tea. Sure. You should see her freezing starting. It's not really getting me hot enough, is it? I'm just dying slower is what's happening there. Alright, let's get that tea in our body. Where's the hot one? That's cold. It's cold. Hot. There it is. Alright. Is that helping at all? Oh, that helped. That did help. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. It had a few calories as well. It never hurts, right? Where's the hot one at? There it is. Drink the hot one. Don't drink the cold one. That'd be bad, right? Alright. Maybe we're getting a little, a little bit of calories. A little warmer. Alright. I'll do one more. And then I'll go stand on the fire. <laughs> Alright. That should be enough. Hot. I'm getting better at picking the hot one. Take a look there, much better. Alright, let's take a look, see if we can find something. Just a couple.
couple sticks to throw. Uh, you know what? I don't think we're getting warm enough anyway, were we? Really? 19 degrees. Yeah, we're not. So we might as well get moving. 17% or 17 degrees outside. We're just freezing slowly. That's all. Okay, I do believe we just kind of head this way. Up until the tracks here. The track should reappear here shortly. Up above this hill. Wait, that's a birch bark. That's good burning tinder right there. I'm gonna need to eat soon. I get all confused on which way I was heading. I did. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going this way. Hey, hey, have you seen my uh, train tracks? I got twisted around there. Am I going backwards now? I think I am. But what's this? Can't pass it up. Can't help myself. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. I found it. Stick. Sorry. I'm like a squirrel. It's so easily distracted. Okay, we're on the other side. Let's keep going. Shouldn't be too much further to the uh, Carter, Carter Hydro Dam. Eight degrees. Ain't no thing. Now that we found the tracks again. Leave Ravine, thank you. Now we are at Mystery Lake. We made it. I need to find some place to escape this cold. We made it. Oh, I know where to. F I got just the place for you, assuming we don't get attacked by Fluffy. If we do, at least we have 74% condition. And we're kind of pissed off, and we have knives and stuff like that. So let's just uh, stick close to the. Here, there we go. Hydro dam, dead ahead. All right, guys. There should be a carcass out here somewhere. Typically, there is. We'll find it. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's just a rock. All right, guys. Welcome to Carter Hydro Dam. All right. Well, we are here. And environ environs. Oh, that's new. Okay. So. We will go ahead and end this episode here. We just loaded in here. Um, let me show you guys what we got here. There's the situation. We're warming up. That's good. Um, we are on... There's our skills. Collectibles. Day 21. 14 hours, 23 minutes. We're in a much better state than we were at the end of the last episode. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to pledge, make sure you uh, head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurate2 for as little as $1 pledge per month. You can be a producer, uh, either associate producer or executive producer on the, uh, on the channel. And if you just want to give a tip, head on over to the main channel page and look for the tip jar up in the banner on the right side of the screen. Um, thank you for all the condolences and, uh, all the well wishes in the comments of the last episode. Man, it took it literally took me about 40 minutes to go through all the comments and uh, read them all and comment back. And I do. I did. I, I read them all. So thank you so much. You all take care. See you in episode 16. We made it. I was really nervous about this one, but we made it. You all take care.